Hey everyone, welcome to Tabletop Giant. Um, Outlaws of Thunder Junction releases uh, this Friday as pre-release uh, at your local stores. I uh, hope you get out to your local LGS and play. Uh, we're going to open a box for you. Uh, all the spoilers have been done. Thanks Wizards for the early open. And uh, as always, uh, they've changed now. You can buy pretty much everything at pre-release. So uh, let's see what we got. Let me know in the comments what color you might have went with with this opening. We got a little yeehaw there for everybody. So we got some fun packaging in here. So there's some nice uh, variant showcase uh, arts available. When you go to pre-release, you get a few tokens to use if you don't have your own. As a, as a potential new player, that's like a stun counter. Okay, so there's the product, what it looks like. And then you get this little kit and you open her up so you're going to make the best deck you can out of the cards in here it's a, a sealed draft uh there's the d20 i'm just looking for the uh set symbol on the 20 little cowboy hat for you so uh yeah so let's see how we would do uh i will look at the card here so we got a botanical sanctum ends of battlefield tapped unless you have two or fewer lands so our uh, when you do pre-release, you get a date stamped uh, foil rare or mythic in your uh, pre-release kit. So that's always added value. Uh, so that, unfortunately, not a card we can build off of to build our deck if we were going to go to pre-release. But uh, not terrible all the same. Um, if we are strong in those colors, that's a great little dual land that's going to help us out. So as you know, we have play boosters now. No draft, no set. So they've combined them. There's lots of special hits in here. Uh, I believe we can even get the uh, special showcase, um, special guest as it's called. So we'll go a little slower since it's a new set. Outlaw Medic, a 1-3 for 2 when he dies, draw. Not, not too bad. Ooh, good old Wolverines. A Cac Tarantula. <laughs> One less to cast if you control a desert. Jeez, the 6-5 Reach Spider. And it becomes a target of a spell or ability the opponent controls you draw. <laughs> kind of big for pre-release, so uh, that might be your one bomb. You don't want to put a lot of stuff that's high uh, casting cost. So we're getting our Uncommons. Longhorn Sharpshooter at knife point. We got a big old possum there, a rambling possum. So our rare is a tumble wag, an ornery one. Beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. When the tumble wag attacks while saddled, double the number 1 1s on another target creature. Cost 2 to saddle. So that's the new mechanic that's kind of like vehicles. Uh, instead of pilot, uh, you've got saddling. So there's a, our first rare. Oh, we do have a from the vault Omen Path Journey. So this is the uh, little symbol for Vault Breaks. Uh, when Omen Path Journey enters the battlefield, search library up to five different land cards that have different names. Exile them, shuffle. Give your end step, choose a card at random, exiled with them, put it in the battlefield, tapped. That is strong. Holy cow. In Commander especially? Okay. So I think we might use our uh, our green blue here. Might be going Simic. So there's another Ionize. So that's our other variant in this set. Uh, safe break, I think it's called. Or jailbreak, I apologize. Uh, counter target spell, two damage to the controller. Uh, not in the colors we'd want for draft, but uh, honest. Rutstein, when he enters the battlefield, return to creature from your uh, graveyard to your hand. Typical Golgari colors. But creature spells cost one less to cast. It's nice. There's a basic land from the set, kind of the Old West theme. And we've got a pest token. I guess this is telling us uh, it's only not created in the core set, only in the jailbreak. And there's a plot. After you plot a card, you can place the exiled card here. You cast it as a sorcery later without paying its cost. So there's the other token. All right, lots to absorb on the first pack there. Let's see what we got in pack two. I think we're leaning towards uh, green. Potentially green blue if we can. A silver deputy is uh, a common artifact creature. There's mount again. 
If it attacks one saddle, it gains first strike till end of turn. So creatures just get their vanilla ability, but one saddle looks like they always get something extra. And this is a new mechanic in the set. You've got spree. So choose one or more additional costs. So what's happening here is you can pay it for one, and you see in the set symbol it's got a little plus. So we pay it for one, two additional colorless, four damage to target creature, and another two additional destroy target artifact. So that's actually pretty strong for a common, especially in the uh, sealed format. Voracious Varmint, Link Breaker, I knew Rat. When the Link Breaker, you get a 1-1 one, one red mercenary token with target creature you control, gets a little buff, plus one power till end of turn. Lullaby, destroy target tap creature, you gain two life, typical white. Nimble Brigand, get into our uncommons. Ruthless Lawbringer, a vampire assassin in the Old West. Sack another creature if you do destroy target non land permanent. Not bad at all. Shackle Slinger, you cast your second spell each turn. Choose target creature and opponent controls. If it's tap, put a stun counter on it, otherwise tap it. That's pretty cool. It's like throwing handcuffs. Bovine Intervention. So lots of cow cards in this set. Destroy target artifact or creature. Uh, its controller gets a 2-2 white ox. Not terrible. A little uncommon for two. Well, there's Bristly Bill. I saw he's one of the uh, premier cards in the set. There's a mythic for us. So we're definitely going green in this pre-release. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Pay five, double the number of one one counter than each creature you control. He's only two for a two two. That's that's strong. Okay, we got another jailbreak, hindering light, um, counter target spell that controls a permanent you control. Draw a card. So both our uh, jailbreak cards have been uh, with blue in them. Kind of counters. Shoot the sheriff. Destroy target non outlaw creature. So apparently they made the deputy an outlaw just so very thematic to the old Bob Marley song, Shoot the Sheriff. You can't shoot the deputy with this card. Uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, and the flavor text kind of backs up. Now where's that deputy? <laughs> good good flavor. Give that one to you, wizards. Then we've got a treasure token. Good old West treasure. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, are you leaning towards uh, green-blue as well? I haven't seen any reason not to yet. There's a Vault Plunderer. When it enters, target player draws a card and loses one life. That's what black does. There's another cat to mount. Explosive Derailment again. Voracious Farming again. There's a Sterling Hound. When it enters the battlefield, uh, Surveil 2. Ambush Gigapede. <laughs> There's a Ruthless Lawbringer again. Lassoed by the law. Exile target non land permanent controller until lassoed leaves play. When lassoed by the law enters, you get a 1 1 mercenary. And it uh, buffs other creatures. Sandstorm Verge. Target creature can't block this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. So, going to have an opposite of uh, Rogue's Passage. Arit, the Beguiler. Ariette, maybe. Uh, so she's a 4 4 lifelinker. Whenever an aura you control becomes attached to a non land permanent opponent controls with mana value less than or equal to auras, gain control as long as yours attached. Wow. So more synergy there with her. Um, I'll put that in our, not for our pre release deck. Decimate. Jailbreak, destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. Wow. Might be an excuse to, to play these colors, but I'm still leaning towards... I might have a splash of red, but uh, very nice jailbreak card. I've played that in some decks. It's very strong. Uh, at knife point, as long as it's your turn, outlaws you control have first strike. Whenever you commit a crime, create a 1-1 red mercenary. A lot of... Uh, Target creature you control gets plus one plus zero till end of turn. Festering Gulch. Uh, when it enters, one damage to target opponent. And there's an elemental big pig. Oh, what do we got in the back? Another plot. Well, now I'm looking at red a little bit, seeing if uh, we're definitely green 
But uh, are we green red or green blue? I'm, I'm leaning towards green red now. I haven't seen any uh, create a treasure for gold rush. One creature gets plus two plus two for each treasure you control. That's pretty strong. Have you cast your first spell? Get two red. Uh, yeah, I think I'm starting to lean towards maybe a, a green red deck. Gold rush looks nice. Unfortunate accident. Looks like he's tied to the railway tracks. So again, we got the spree here. One black to play it. Plus three, destroy target creature. Plus one, you get the mercenary. That So mercenaries, all they seem to do is buff plus ones. Uh, that's their job. Miriam, uh, nice Selesnia, one of my favorite color combos. Last your turn, mounts and vehicles you control have hexproof. Whenever you mount a vehicle, oh sorry, whenever a mount or vehicle you control attacks, it gets a 1-1 counter. And well, there's some synergy there. Lava Spur boots, some new boots. Well, there's there you go for your commander. It gets plus 1, plus 0, has haste, and ward 1. Never becomes target of spell or ability unless his uh, controller pays one more. So not the best to protect your commander. Another round. Exile any number of creatures you control. Then return to the battlefield under their owner's control. Then repeat this process X number of times. So if you have things that have uh, good enter the battlefield abilities, this would be awesome to put a lot of X's on. Blink, blink, blink. And you get all those ETBs. Um, as long as it wouldn't be entering creatures. Uh, exile... And then return them. So I guess you wouldn't want to be making creatures off the X because they disappear. But if you made something other than creatures, like something that made treasures, I think they'd stay. So have to look into that card, read it, see what you think. Very strong, very nice. Buried in the garden. Enchant land. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permit you don't control until buried garden leaves. And whenever enchant land is tapped for mana, it gets an additional mana. That costs four. That's cool. Another Lava Spur and Foil this time. Oh, there's our Full Art Land. That's cool. The white clouds in the sky. Very nice. Ooh, and a cool looking Spirit Token. That's pretty cool. So I think we're Green Red Gang. Oh, here's our first Art Card. Let's bring him up first. Get that done. So we've got a nice Art Card. A slick sequence for art. There's a rat warlock again. We saw him earlier. Seize the secrets. Sterling supplier, a uh, five uh, CMC flyer. Puts one ones on stuff. Seen a lot of these reckless lackeys. Ankle biter. A Death Touch Snake, 1-1. One, one, that'll be strong in this format, a pre-release. Again, good for our green deck. Oasis Gardener, a new Scarecrow. Gain two life when it enters, and it's a Mana Rock. Not bad. That's a common. Ethra Joe, a Frontier Mentor. Enters the battlefield, you get that Mercenaries we've been seeing. And they tap for one, get uh, target creature gets plus one, plus zero. Whenever you activate an ability that targets a creature or player, copy that. Oh, so she's going to work with mercenaries. To, so when they tap to add one, it'll really add two. Pretty good. Nurturing Pixie. I haven't seen that yet. A 1-1 one, one for one, but when it enters, return one target non-fairy, non-land permanent you control to your hand. If it was returned this way, put a 1-1 one, one on her. Eh. Seems okay. Intrepid Stable Master. So that's a little bird that makes mana. A two mana of any one color. Spend this mana only to, on mounts and vehicles. So it's always makes one, but playing a mount deck. Final showdown. Another strong card in the set. Has the spree uh, ability again. We notice on the top right there. You've got the little plus sign. So one one white and a one a colorless. All creatures use all abilities to end a turn. And then choose a creature you control. It gains indestructible. Then destroy all creatures. So... Pretty strong. You'd need that late game. So that's like one, two, three, and then another five. That's eight. But at uh, very least, just a five, six, I guess, for a Wrath. But you can uh, protect one of yours. Getting some good white stuff, too. There's another white from the vault. 
Uh, hideaway 5. Okay, so white has, this is kind of like fight rigging in that. So when this enters, you look at the top five cards of your deck and put one of those five cards under this card. Uh, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature control. Then if you control three or more creatures with different powers, you get to play the card under this for free. That's a good little artifact. Collector's Cage. Another strong white for us. Tornado. Destroy target creature with flying. There's our green, so that would also be good in our in our deck. So we're definitely in green, gang. Vault Plunderer we've seen. And there's another basic land. I don't know what's in the background there. A giant tumbleweed. I think it's about the size of the town. Okay, in our last pack, let's say we're staying strong in green. Trick shot. Six damage to target creature and two to up to one other target creature token. Holy crow. For five, not not terrible. I mean, there's certainly way better uh, red uh, direct damage, but overzealous muscle, phantom interference, mystical tether. There's a mirage mesa. Choose a color. It makes one mana of any color as it enters. That's pretty good mana rock. A cactus folk sure shot. So it's plant type. Uh, ward 2. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, other creatures you control with power 4 or greater gain trample. So there's, uh, I think this pre-release, we're definitely going to be going uh, gr red-green. Um, that'll work for us, I believe. <clears throat> kind of putting the stuff that I'd make a deck out of up here for you. Oh, more green. Just uh, selling us on it there. Binding negotiation. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose an online card from it. They discard it. Otherwise, you may put a face-up exile card they own into their graveyard. Ooh, a steed. First strike lifelinker, a 2-2 two, two for 2. When it attacks while saddled, you get a white angel with flying. Very nice. You want to get on that unicorn. Green-white is also pretty strong in, in this. Uh, there's a red, so that's good. We've got a fling reprint here. As additional cost to sack a creature. Yeah, I know I got a deck that's going to go in my uh, Brian Commander deck. He loves flinging things. The big old Cyclops. Uh, Dance of the Tumbleweeds in green. Keep us in green. Search for a basic land or desert and put it on the battlefield. And you can create X uh, elemental green creature. X is number of lands you control. That could be pretty big. It's only two, three, four, five, six to get everything, but you get choices. A lush oasis. So these are nice, these dual lands that uh, deal one damage on entry. And we've got another art card. A ruthless lawbringer. Great. So let's just go over our, uh, our big hits here, guys. I hope you enjoy pre-release at your local store. And uh, thanks for watching. We're going to open one more box. Everyone always likes the uh, pre-release openings. Uh, so we had the fling. There's the steed. Collector's cage in white is strong. Final showdown in white. The nice, uh, our only full art of the box. Buried in the garden. Uh, maybe we'll go green-white. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm, I'm green-white or green-red. Uh, you're at... A Decimate, Hindering Light, Ionize, Omen Path Journey, Ornary Tumblewag, Bristly Bill, Huge Hit, or Thornado. We've got our Dual Land. We're not going to be able to use, I don't think. Um, Cactus Sure Shot, and an Ankle Biter, 1 1 Death Touch. I'll just open this uh, so when you go to pre-release, you know what's inside in Kids Are Secrets. Looks like it's just a code card, gang. So, uh, yeah, so you can use that on Arena. Thanks for watching. Uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction comes out this Friday. Singles and Seal will be available this Friday for sale. So uh, check it out, tabletopgiant.ca. We'd love to take care of all your gaming needs. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll be opening another box.